Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to be talking about one of those dinos that you just look at and you go, Hey, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's alright. You know, hey, that's cool. Alright, and guess what? That's cool. All right, but these little guys, they can actually help out with a bunch of different things. They've got different uses, and it, fr frankly, if you're looking for some sort of different mount that not everybody is using, these guys are actually kind of effective if, you, if you're going on the ground version kind of game, or if you're early on in the game. It's kind of cool. And also, once you get into the later game, and then you want to start breeding and doing all sorts of mutations, or just, you know, you have two favorite dinos and you just want to combine them and you want to you want help raising up your little baby you need like some sort of nursery you need some sort of nanny to watch over them well look no further because these guys right here they've kind of got you covered yeah i know right the kangaroos now who would have thought that these guys right here they're actually good for some things i know right some people really enjoy them some people um really kind of meh them other people, they just really don't know about what uh, what they can do. Uh, and today, we're going to be discussing them. So hang on, sit tight, grab some coffee, and uh, all right, here we go. All right, so at the beginning of this, when you want to start looking into taming one of these things, it's not that hard to tame these. Um, here, let me see. Uh, pro cop. All right, their saddle is level 23, so they're designed so where you can actually level them up, or you can tame them early on, and then you can... You can kind of have them be your little buddy as you go through it. Normally, when saddles are lower level, then it's going to be a lot easier to tame them. That's just usually how it works. But these guys do have a little bit of torpor. They got a little bit. So if you're uh, just starting out, if you're uh, looking to go out and uh, tame your first one as you're just starting out, I would recommend getting a crossbow before you go out. And not just a regular crossbow. Get an increased one. If you don't have it, a regular one does work. It's just not nearly as effective. You can actually tame these guys with a bow if you can get them trapped. It's pretty easy, but once they start running, if they're not trapped, um, they're gone. Yeah, <laughs> you're not going to get them back, uh, which is why I would recommend um, before you start taming these guys, either try to trap one by uh, letting it wander into a trap or bullying it. And then just having you and maybe a couple buddies knock it out in tandem. That's actually um, pretty effective. But if you're um, playing by yourself, I would recommend trapping them if you can. Uh, lifting them up with an Argent or a Quetzal. I know, I know. I just, umped the, I just upped the level game right there by saying Argent and Quetzal. Because before you can get those, you got to be level 62 at least. So, yeah. <laughs> Which is why I would, when I say I recommend trapping them, I recommend building a trap, um, a taming pen, and then dropping them into it with an Argent. It's the easiest way, it's the most effective way, and we're going to be discussing that. We're also going to be discussing bolas and stuff like that today. All right, now, their preferred kibble. It's not kibble. It's not. They're one of the only dinos left in the game that doesn't have a preferred kibble that is a kibble. So, their preferred kibble is actually rare mushrooms. I know, right? These guys, they've got some psychedelic stuff going on. All right, so to get rare mushrooms at an expedient rate, what you're going to need is, well, you can go and you can mine um, crystal with a pick. You get a little bit that way. You can uh, kind of just find it every once in a while around. But I would recommend you go over and you get the trees at the edge of the swamp. Now, the place that we're going here, let me show you. It's way over here. And let's get to a spot. There we go. Uh, yeah, the lighting's good there. Okay, so we're right here. And right along the edge of the swamp right here is the place where you want to go. There's these trees over there that you uh, um, can harvest that will give you all sorts of... Uh, Oh, uh, rare mushrooms. Now, you can do this on a wood gathering mount. You can do this on a thatch gathering mount. I would recommend get, using a thatch gathering mount for it. Um, like, 
some just anything that you go up to you smack a tree and you get more thatch than you do wood and that that only makes it easier because you don't have to stop and clear out all the wood all the time. I have a bunch of mammoths right here, so I'm gonna head over there and I'm just gonna use a mammoth, but I'm gonna end up throwing away a ton of wood. Here, let me show you. All right, now here we are over at the swamp and these little trees right over there, those are the ones that are gonna give you a whole bunch of uh, rare mushrooms. Here, let me show you. Let's go up to them, start whacking. See, see all those rare mushrooms? Wicked and amazing. Now, the re like I said, the reason why I prefer thatch gatherers for this is... Look at all this waste. I mean, seriously, that's a lot. And also, as a nice little uh, side uh, thing, these right here, these little bushes right on the side, the cattails, they give you a whole ton of rare flowers. It's really cool. This is a really good spot. And then also, for the uh, Procoptodons, you can use plant species X seeds to... Uh, um, tame them, but they're not nearly as effective as mushrooms. So we're just gonna use mushrooms. All right, let's just ditch all this and let's go back to the base where we can start going out and uh, finding a few uh, Procoptodons or at least one. Uh, just be careful when you're down here at the swamp on whatever dino that you bring down here in order to get it um, your stuff there's capros in there, so <laughs> just be aware of that. You might be snagged off your saddle at a moment's notice just by a crocodile that wants to eat your butt. Yes, it does happen. Uh, yeah, so just be careful of that. But also, if you really, really want rare mushrooms and you don't have a wood gathering dino, or you don't have a thatch gathering dino, or you just don't want to put your dino in jeopardy, you can go down there with a metal pick and start beating up the trees, and then they'll give you a whole bunch of uh, rare mushrooms as well. It's just not as quick. It's a little bit more dangerous, but you don't have to worry about, uh, yeah, your dino. All right, now, Procoptodon, they spawn all over the island, all over Ragnarok, all over Valgaro, just pretty much anywhere. Um, everyone's, every place has, like, a, a small spot, a small chance to uh, have them spawn other than Herbivore and Carno Island. Um, other than that, you can pretty much find them just about anywhere. But if you want to have a guaranteed Procoptodon spawn without having to go out and look for it, it'll take you a little bit, but you can just come down here, over here on this side. Uh, let's see. Way over here in the corner, um, there, this spot right here has an insanely high respawn rate. And eventually, you'll just end up getting a Procoptodon. And I already saw one. Yeah, right down here. And they'll just kind of just wander around down here. Now, if you, uh... If you're, um, not able to pick them up, if you're playing on a server that does not have that enabled, then you can bowl of them. Just like this, um... They're, they're not gonna run, they're not gonna, well, they're not gonna attack you, anything like that. They will run, but see, yeah, they'll, you can totally just bowl them like that, shoot them in the face, uh, stuff like that. But just know that as soon as that bola breaks, if you don't get it knocked out in that time, this guy's gone. Yeah, he's totally gone, because he's, you're just not gonna be able to catch up with him. It, they're wicked, wicked hard. Now, if you're on, um, say, like a uh, Sabertooth or a Thylacolio, you can run them down and you shoot them like that. That is effective. But if you are able to, I recommend just picking them up with an Argent and putting them in a pen. Just like that. And, of course, this guy gets up. Come here. Get back here. Seriously? All right. And apparently they also like to, uh, yeah. They like to bounce a little bit, so... Finally! Nailed it! Alright. But, um, also, if you have patience, since these guys, they don't fight back, you can actually just come in here and just punch them out. Because they're not gonna do much. They're just kinda gonna, you know, run off into the corner, and you can eventually just punch them, and then, yeah. But since... Um, we're just, we've got these, we're just gonna knock them out because it's gonna be quick and easy. Uh, you can use crossbows. Yeah, there he goes. You can use crossbows, you can use, uh, regular long necks with trank darts. Um, I've just got some shocking trank darts on me, so that's what I used. Uh, but yeah, they, um, for their size, they actually have some pretty high, uh, torpor. Yeah. Alright, so hey, we're gonna throw all these on there, just let them go. Now, also, you need to pay close attention, because this Torpor, it does go down a little bit faster than some other dinos. It's not tremendously fast, but just keep an eye on them. You know, if they need some narcotics, give them some narcotics. Yeah. They're not one of those dinos you can just walk, you can knock out and throw the taming stuff on it, walk away, and then forget it. Uh, you do have to pay a little bit of attention on these guys. All right, so after I had knocked out that guy, I saw this girl over there in the distance. And hey, you know, I figured, what the hey? You know, I tame up both of them. I need a female anyway. The one I have back in base is a male, so hey, 
if they're if she's gonna uh, show up, we're gonna knock her out. All right, now this one right here, we're gonna knock out with the uh, crossbow, just because you know it's a thing. All right, come on. And it's gonna take a lot more shots to knock her out with the crossbow than the other dude was with the uh, long neck and shocking train charts. Come on, girl. All right, she's gonna get bloody, so we're just gonna. Oh, never mind. Hey, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry about that. All right, give me these. All right. Let's put these on her. Yeah, she was beat the crap up. <laughs> but yeah, they do have a lot more uh, torpor than they do health. So you have to pay very close attention to their health. Um, But yeah, I'm going to get these two tamed up and I'll bring you guys back. Then we'll show you some cool stuff with the uh, Procoptodons. All right, so both these two are up. I'm not even going to name them right now. We're just going to uh, take, we're going to put them in cryo orbs. And then we're going to take them back to base. And then I'm going to show you. Um, just how good these guys are for breeding and then uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna hop around on the other one and show you uh, a couple cool different things on those All right, let's get this last one thrown out here, and it's actually kind of good that we found her. I didn't realize that uh, Oh uh, Bouncy here was a male so you need to have if you're going to use these guys for imprinting you totally need to have a Male and female pair they have to be mate boosted before you get any bonuses if you do it with just the female or if you do it with just the male, you're not going to do anything. Basically, you're just sitting there having a Procoptodon. Yeah. Okay. But before we get into that, we're going to um, talk a little bit about some of the things they uh, these guys can do. Now, granted, their regular attack, it, it, it's really weak. It, it is. It's really weak. But this attack right here, their kick... This thing right here, it knocks things away from you. And if you're on the edge of a cliff, it can totally knock things off the edge of a cliff. It is kind of cool. All right, let's see. I just heard a Dillo. Are you going to come after me, man? I want I, I want to practice on a Dillo's face. Or is that a compy? If you're a compy, you're a bit too small. If you're a comp... Oh, you're totally a compy. If you're a compy, just say you're a compy. But yeah, um, your kick... See how far... See how that knocks things back? That's actually kind of cool. Um, yeah, and the, the the knockback affects just about anything, uh, short of, I want to say a giga? I mean, it's not going to affect a giga, but it'll affect just about anything. I mean, Trike, yep. Rex, yep. Therizina, yep. Alright, let's see if we can get you knocked off a cliff, just because I want to see if I can do it. Yep, there you go. Oh, no. Hey, dude, when I say down, go down, man. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, also, not only do they have the weak main attack and the uh, kind of cool kick, they, they can also do this. Hold jump button, and then you can aim. All right. Now, see, look at this. This guy right here, he thinks he's going to come uh, charge us. Nope. Later, dude. <laughs> These guys can jump really far, and they take wicked reduced... Um, fall damage when they do that jump they still take a little bit of fall damage it's about akin to a thylacolio yeah they do take fall damage but it, it's very reduced it, it's kind of cool yeah all right so now that we've got that covered let's talk about breeding after i ganked this trike that just doesn't want to give up dude we're done with you man just go out live your life okay one thing that i do have to admit the um kick the back kick and the uh regular attack they have the same amount of damage it's the same modifier. So, you're not going to get that much more increase out of either one. But, if you're going to use these guys as, say, like a regular a regular mount for uh, doing all sorts of things, they already start out with a really high weight, which is quite beneficial. And their stamina will last for days. But, um, I would recommend that you uh, level up a little bit of stamina, get that up to around 1,000 to 1,200, and that should last you a good long bit. That they'll go a long ways off 1200 and then after that i would recommend getting their health up to where it's a sizable amount to what you feel more comfortable with i would say about 5000 and then just start pumping out um either um a whole bunch of melee damage and maybe even a little bit of movement speed 
That way they're being, because have you ever seen a, a, a Procoptodon with 150% movement speed? It's a sight to behold. It's kind of amazing. And, but they only get one point per. The best gain for these guys um, off of uh, gaining movement speed is imprint. Yeah, uh, breed them up, imprint the baby, and then that'll give you a bonus of uh, movement speed. Um, yeah, it's like gaining an additional 20 free levels just by doing that. It's pretty cool. Uh-oh, why do I have you over there? Seriously, dude? You almost got shot in the face, man. All right. <laughs> okay. So now, what you do with these guys is... When you're, uh, um, breeding and you've got a little baby, what you do, you walk up to these guys. Here, let me, hold on, let, let me grab a foo, for example. And you just pick them up. Here, let me show you. Where is foo? There you are. All right, come here. All right, let's get you over here. We're going to use you. You're going to be our little baby, foo. Yeah, so where we can show everybody exactly how this works. All right, so we throw our little baby out on the ground. Yes, it I know, that sounds weird. All right, hold on. I need food. And I need water. All right. So, uh, at, you throw your little baby out on the ground, and then you grab the female. Okay? It has to be the female. They're, they have to be mate boosted, but you can only use the female for this. All right, you take the female. Pop that down. All right, pop that down like that. And then you walk up to the foo, and then you press your C button. And then they pop right inside of there. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cool. And then you notice they get this little buff over their head that says, hey, they get reduced food um, usage while they're in there. Because while the baby is in the pouch, they consume less food as they grow. It, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> but also, say if uh, you're imprinting them and you want to go for a walk, anything like that. They need foods. They need cuddles. Anything like that. While, she, while they're mate boosted, it will get double the amount of uh, imprint bonus. Yeah, that's huge. And it makes you uh, be able to imprint things so much faster, so much more effective. It's wicked cool. Yeah. All right. So, hey, anyway, I think uh, this uh, should cover it for just about everything to do with the uh, Procoptodon. Yeah, they can be war mounts. Yeah, they can be land mounts to get you from point A to point B wicked quick. Yeah, you can use them to harass and terrorize your friends and kick them off the edge of cliffs. You can do this. And you can also use them to imprint babies and help uh, you uh, raise up uh, whole armies. It's pretty cool. All right, so hey, if you liked the video, if it helped you out, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everybody.